So, <laughs> so just to clear this up, this isn't Ch this isn't Chase's theorem about getting away with flashing. In no, no, that would be that would be bad. That would be bad. Oh, that is, he knows about getting away. With it. Know, know, you know, you know, know, <laughs> Go on, flash theorem. All right, so anyway, flash theorem. You so have carte blanche now. All right, flash theorem. So anyway, I'm going to be back this yeah. yeah, you are. So anyway, flash theorem. Here it is, right? Tom Cavanaugh is just a fantastic character. I mean, I don't see Flash moving on without him. You can't write him out. No. Right, you can't write him out. So, my Flash theorem is pretty much about Wells being on a redemption arc. So, for those who are watching in the States, you, you guys put your hands on your ears. For those who are watching in the States, right, you know, we have now been introduced to time travel. So, if you've gone past the Firestorm um, double, double episode, you will know that Time travel is only talked about, not happened yet, but introduced. So my sorry, can I just interrupt? That? I have seen a clip where the time, where the uh, detective is with them talking about Flash, and Cisco is mm -hmm. just summing up the time theories. Yeah, he was with the Back to the Future. Yeah, that's like Back to the Future. He's like, 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 he's Scientists have actually managed to make light travel at less than the speed of light. Yes, I have heard that. Yeah, no, I this, this yeah. They've actually managed to make light travel slower than itself. Right, no, I didn't hear that. That is what creates time travel. Mm. But yeah, I mean, All right, the theory of everything is right. this so, comic book. We're so, anyway, fancy, but, so anyway, right, we're so, in the real world. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, for those who watched that DC uh, cartoon movie, Flashpoint, right? My point is that... And read the comment. My point is, I'm not giving anything away because I'm only telling you my theory on Flashpoint. So my theory is, is that Barry has now discovered that he can travel into time. He hasn't yet. He just discovered it. So his now plan is to go back and do what? And save, save his mom. Save which his is mom. Yellow so yellow now yellow. he's like, you know, this is what I got to do. And it's like, well, should you actually do that? So if so they discovered, right, they, they did some kind of thing, whatever, they discovered that, you know, somehow Barry had gone back in time to be there, right, with the two flashes scenario. So what happens is, is that when Wells, in the first episode of The Flash, Wells saw in 2025, whatever, yes. that Flash crisis. goes into and disappears. Disappears so, into the crisis. Right, disappears yeah, yeah, into the crisis. Yeah. So what happens is, is that this doesn't have to happen now or on the show or in this season, but what I'm just trying to say is, is that, like, if Flash chases Zoom, whoever he is, right, into the past and everything, and saves his mom and creates a whole different future, Flashpoint, right? He doesn't get his powers. He's not thinking because he's still stupid stage, right? So, but somebody who's back in time, right, has to help him change back into Flash, which is what I said to you before the show started about a Thomas Wayne character. We need a Thomas Wayne character to do that. Basically. So the only person that can do that is... Except Wells. Wells. So Wells... Or the older Flash who disappears from that time. Unless, as people have already postulated, Wells is the older Flash come back. So if Flash is going back to stop Wells from killing his mother, Mm -hmm. And that creates a different timeline. Then the older Flash has to come back to stop the younger Flash from going back. Which is probably you could end up with Flash battling Wells with an older Flash, don't you? Yeah, with three Flashes. Well, that's but see, what, I, what, I, what I'm time saying travel is, is the, I, time I, travel I, is a mind body. All I wanted to wait, wait, wait. All I wanted to say was is that if Wells, we've seen all the clues in the backstories uh, at the end of each episode, right? So Wells says to Garad, "I'm going to give you a different future." Wells decides to kill Simon Stagg. Wells decides to help General Island. So all of these things probably didn't happen initially. Right? So they're already in this new timeline because Wells, who may or may not be Zoom, has been trapped back in the past. And he had to relive this timeline where he now helps the Flash do something different. So the road to redemption for Tom Cavanaugh to survive that the next season sense. is not the... Professor Zoom that kills his mom. Ah, uh, yes. I also think... That's what I'm trying to say. The, <laughs> well, that makes sense. Not Wells, Wells, Wells is... He's the reverse a, Flash. Wells is the reverse Flash. Yes. There's nothing to do with the person who kills his mom. Exactly. Wells exactly. is creating the Flash 
to make sure the flash can save the hole. So there is a possibility that Wells, which is an obvious HG Wells reference, yeah, All right, Wells right. is the future Barry Allen. And he has come back to make sure that he becomes the flash. So he has to come back to create himself so that he can come back to create himself, so he can come back to create himself. And it goes around because he has to come back to make him to make the flash good enough. Because it's Wells who pushes the flash to be good enough to fight the reverse flash. Wells yeah. has to give him a hiding to make him strong enough to fight the actual person he's gonna to have to fight in the end anyway. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> flashpoint is what I'm trying to say. I will be, I think you say flashpoint is a sort of like his a little bit wrong description because yeah. it's because flashpoint the scenario that you're that you're directly referencing wasn't just limited it was like a relaunch of it well it, it was it was it was so something that this flash is tried to save his what, you're trying, what you're trying to say here is it's like terminate the new what they're trying to do with the new terminator yeah. which is kind of like the sort of happened back in time yeah. and that i can see that, yeah. that kind of like you know it is going to be they're going to need an entire 40 minutes of an episode of just Wells kind of like going right okay so i started here and then i went back here <laughs> and then you went back here and then you know that would be it, you know, I, I'll, which is why they're that. doing it in pieces. Which is yeah, why they yeah. they they, they, a, they, they a, giving us the information that it's just a blackboard. Yeah, 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 it's just kind of, they yeah. actually had the literal blackboard where they're doing that. Yeah. What, you, what yeah, you said about this, yeah. said about back so, in the future. So I'm, I'm all, I'm, I, I just sort of like this. Yeah, no, I think I think that you might be right, but um, uh, after the well, last I just only wanted to down on. I just only wanted to down because I could be wrong, right? It's a theory, but I mean, I just think it's a good one as far as like you know the potential of what's happening without trying to ruin everything which you're going to see in the next three weeks and everything else like that. Because we all knew that. Time so time I mean, I mean with, with your illegally sourced material, that have, have you seen uh, allegedly illegal? The atom. Allegedly illegal. Have you seen the atom in action? Yeah. Adam is coming, right? Unfortunately, what's happened is, what's, what's happened is, is, is that this is where we are. Where we are is, is that the Flash is on a three-week hiatus, which is unfortunate now. So, well, because they want, one, they want Arrow to catch up. And two is, is that I think they want the UK to catch up because you're three weeks behind us. So what's happened is, is that Flash is on a three-week hiatus. It ended so awesomely. I won't tell you who shows up, right? But like it ended so awesomely. But um, in Flash 18, it's going to be called All Star Team Up, where um, he teams up with the Atom from um, from Arrow. But also too is is that when we were talking about Walker Dead, Emily Kinney has been casted as the bug guy. Yeah, yeah. So which means that obviously we've all been waiting for the bug guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Jackson has. When I, when I <laughs> <laughs> that's why like, no, that's not. But. But, um, which means that they're going to be, they've already talked about this, that they ordered like a thousand bugs or whatever, something like that. So the Adam obviously will be shrinking in right. this double episode oh, where he teams up with the Flash. I so, just yes. think his suit's just, in the clip, in the shots I've seen, his it's suit kind of looks like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Yeah, 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 I mean, and, yeah, yeah, yeah well, I think, I think like, they're trying to give it a sense of that reality, that science reality that he's building something, and it's not just a cloth suit with a belt. Because remember, the actual original 1960 Silver Age Adam had a belt, which had a molecular change ability on it. He never twisted it. Because right? that, cause that is a play with the ability yeah, to control the size and weight. Because that is any harder to believe that, <laughs> that Ray Palmer giving Felicity two days to create a circuit which miniaturizes things. Wait, 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 wait. That circuit that, that she created was from a dwarf days. star. From a dwarf, yeah, so that's hard. So what which we all have nothing so now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you to tell me that I'm willing to believe. Because that's how dwarf yeah. stars work, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, I'm willing to believe that you could shrink down a dwarf star into a composite. It's from a dwarf down. star no, meteorite. If you even try and convince me that by wearing a belt, <laughs> I'm not buying that. No. That's just, uh, no. It's not a belt, it's a bracelet. And he does this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of like, it's like Ant Man, you know, with Ant Man is sort of like right. smoke kind of like stuff. They're not trying to the change the chemistry. I just want one episode <laughs> where somebody goes to people's houses at work and they go, it doesn't. Do you know where it works? You don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 How how does your boxing glove arrow work? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, like, it's oh come on, that was that was that was completely that was awesome. in it. But it's just, <laughs> there's no reason why this work beats on aerodynamic. It's from bizarre world. That's why. I wonder what the impact of the atom on that show on Ant Man. 
Will it make people more accepting of that superheroes that can shrink, or will people say, like, no. well, 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 yeah, well, yeah, but, yeah, but the problem, yeah, but, yeah, but the problem would be, or, well, unless it happens, hopefully it does happen in this episode that's coming up in episode 18, but that would be DC beating Marvel to the punch, yeah. you know, because, I mean, Ant-Man is already coming out, and they've already gave us that horrible trailer, so now... Oh, no. I love the trailer. I love the trailer. I, love the trailer. Yeah. I, I thought, I'd be seeing the trailer for Ant-Man. That's the trailer. trailer. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, I love that, I love that. Wait, wait, that, that was the trailer? No, no, no the, the very first one, yeah. the very first teaser was Ant-Sized. Yeah, yeah, so it's showing show up on your screen that size. You just could, it was it was like literally the size of Anton. You're looking at it going, I can't see what's going on. Like, and then that's the point. Released, then they released like a big size trailer. They and then you were like, so what? No, I, 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 was, I think I, I am looking forward to seeing Paul Wood. Paul Rudd is Everybody was looking too. forward to seeing Paul Rudd, but then it was just kind of like, you know. Paul Rudd is a great man. You got to admit that trailer was, that fell short. You got to admit the trailer fell short. There was no explosions. There was no kind of like. Wait, what's it's, 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 hold on, wait a minute. Why are you expecting the costume? Expect the costume and show it. You know, he controlled ants. Yeah. I mean, even, they don't explode. even in the world of Hollywood, they, they don't fly into walls and go, <laughs> You know, it's just it's kind of the it, it, it would be flying into walls. It would be the most amusing thing to go and like, see, just like it's so, like, it zooms out, you just see this, what was that? It was an ant. Yeah. Yeah, it just explodes. Yeah, that would be yeah. yeah, that. So, how are they going? It's never going to be. It's, it's an espionage film. It's going to be more espionage, Ocean's Eleven, Ice Cow, I think. As a, as also, I'm going to have So, do you think Hope Man Dying is going to shrink too? Do you think Hope Man Dying is going to shrink too far? Yes. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's two hours of watching Evangeline Lily in a cinema. Yeah, I, I, I am just movie. looking forward to it, I know there's going to be a lot of fun for today. And I've yeah. seen the Lego uh, kit for Ant-Man because they've shown no. an additional yeah. figure oh, yeah, that's yeah. not been announced, which is the classic Ant-Man one, well, and it's so. supposed to be from the movie, so... So, uh, there's going to be flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, be yeah, flashbacks. yeah, but there was, always, like, there was always supposed to be a flashback with the rumor of Patrick Wilson actually being um, the 60s Ant Man. He's not in it anymore, is he? No, I know, that's what I mean. That's, that's what he was saying. rumor that there was going to be a flashback, well, not with Michael Douglas DAs, but with like Patrick Wilson. Patrick, do you want to be another superhero, mate? Because the first one worked out so well for you, really, did your career good? It's not Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's even better than Owl Man, you'll like this one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, be part of the big franchise. Yes, I know it's nice out. So, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah yes. I, I am completely wrong with you, but yeah, I don't, I don't think Atom is going to affect that battle because it looks like um, the ants are going to be a fairly big part of Ant Man, which they should be yeah. big. Yeah. And you know, that is the key difference. You have a guy who shrinks down to the size of an ant, who rides along uh, to the size of an atom and rides along uh, telephone lines using. And stuff like that. So, and using ants. so now, even though Agent Carter is ending this week, right, and Shield Marvel Agent Shield come back, is Marvel Agent Shield picked up in the UK? Yes, that's coming back on in a couple of weeks. I think it's like two weeks. I think because I mean Carter ends this week, and I think uh, Shield I, comes on right next. Well, I, I, the week after. all I know is some my mind day comes straight away went on my sky. It's still, it's still, it's still going to be March. So that's still what is what is it? Agent Carter finishes with Agent Carter time displaced. Into the Marvel Agents of Shield universe. No, and we get in Britain. She walks in the room. Everyone goes, "Who's that?" <laughs> well, no, no, no. Because That's she, true. no, she was, she was in Agents of Shield the uh, last, uh, in, in the she last part. She had a watch in, in a flashback. I can't see like Oh yeah, yeah. yeah when they, when they went the last of weapons. Yeah. yeah so, so, so. Did you say words? Did you yeah. just say words? Yeah. I mean, there's no plot, just where. Let me just, let me just I say, because if you're not going to get it anyway, right? Agent, uh, Agent Carter was an excellent series. Um, you know, they introduced a whole different um, villain gang called the Leviathan, which I just think is another word for Hydra, to be honest with you. Well, they can't call it Hydra, because yeah, Shield yeah. is basically Hydra at that Yeah, point. yeah, yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, what I loved was in one of the episodes, because she, first of all, she was a very powerful female character, which goes on to the last show we talked about. But uh, there was one episode where she was on the cover as what I thought was the Blonde Phantom. Do you guys remember the Blonde Phantom? From, from the 50s, and you know, it's like it was just... Born in the 80s. Man. You do, right? Well, I, I know the Blonde Phantom. Yes, Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, you yeah, remember yeah, the Blonde Phantom, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. It's just a female. No, because I was born in the 60s and that's still before. Like, I see you, but. Yeah, exactly. It was, just, it, was just a, it was just a strong female character. Well, it sounds like it's kind of like a female version of the Phantom. Like no, it was just. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It was just a, a fancy woman with a blonde wig. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Full, full costume. Yeah, mask. purple mask. Yeah. Well, she's like the female, she's like the female Spectre type thing. Like, you know, not Phil Spectre, I don't know. No, she's got the female Spectre. She's got the shadow power. Not Spectre. No, but uh, the shadow side thing. The shadow, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so that was that was really good. Yeah, I mean, I, and it was also that whole male and female politics of you know, and Jarvis was a really good character. I didn't think he was going to be any good, um, but he was a really good, strong sidekick character. Howard Stark made like maybe like two appearances and stuff in the show, and a lot of people say it was because the actor they couldn't afford the actor for the whole time, and if they also had him, he would have overshadowed you know Peggy Carter. And I mean, it was really good. I mean, they dressed her in blue and red sometimes, you know, where she had that kind of Captain America look. And um, she also, kind of like she also, yeah, she also. Would, <laughs> so it was, it was just, it was one of those. It was kind of like Friday the Thirteenth. It was one of those like plot storylines where she had to get a, a device that was stolen and you know recover, recover it so that way. The but I think, happened. I think I'm probably going to go along the lines of what I do with movies and a lot of things. I have a bit of a bone. I say that I try and keep things legal, but I get a bit of a bone in. I get a bit. Of, um, annoyed when they release movies and then they don't open America and then it takes eight months for movies to come out of it. Yeah, John, John, Wick, show up on Netflix, John, John Wick is a prime example yeah. of that at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seen yeah. I, I've, I've seen it as well because of that entire yeah. thing. Um, and maybe I might just download it. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean I'm, just, I'm just saying John John that I can't understand why the UK didn't pick it up. Revenge for basically. Uh, uh, I can't understand why the UK didn't yeah, pick it up, but like the whole point is, is the fact that, that like it was a good series, it is, and um, it really it really followed the good spy thriller um, scenario. It didn't it didn't like you know overdo it, you know. I mean, even though her friend, oh the Black Widows, I forgot about them. Yeah, so they you know, I saw something about them breaking into a Russian yeah the Hollow Commandos and all that. Yeah, yeah. so they had the Hollow Commandos. They had this whole like like where Black Widow comes from is like a camp of like um, you know little Russians like uh, training girls to become killers. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. And so and so they had that. And the last thing was Dr. Faustus, which was really cool. So and then it offered Dr. Faustus. Um, which he doesn't have the name. Possibly. So, let's so go, let's we go. thought we thought we were led to believe that they were going to do an original Prince of Dynamo. Yeah, which never shows up there. So I mean that's AJ Card. So yeah. I know. Shall we go back to the other big piece of news that happened, which is oh yeah, yeah, Spider Man, which is I think is yeah. again another example of why Kevin Feige should get World Peace Prize because mm -hmm. only he could bring Sony and Marvel together to come up with a deal that benefits them both yeah. and that is bringing Spider-Man into the Marvel Universe mm -hmm. and the deal of it, which is Sony won't turn any of the money that's I've made from the Sony, from the Marvel pictures and Marvel will never make, it just goes to show like people can cooperate when it makes it. Yeah, because there'll be too much money to, to argue it's, about yeah, it. It's good, it is a great idea, it's the fact that they have got the right people, now with Sony wanting to work with Marvel they'll be able to do Spider-Man properly. Well, I mean, although I do think Amazing did, was really good. I thought it was good. Yeah, I, I, the, I, I, the I, I, movie I, looked shit. Yeah. The second movie had, was probably, once again, two films struggling to fit into one. Yeah. But I, I, the, death, the death of Gwen Stacy was amazing. Yeah, death of Gwen Stacy and, 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 and it overshadowed. It killed me. That killed me. Yes. And I, although I knew what was going on, yeah. that where did you knew what was going on? And that it was so. It was one of the few times that I saw, like being in cinema, I kind of, like had to. Yeah. Kind of like really. That was because the relationship like, between the two. It was so good. It was, it was, so, it was so, so good. good. It was no, so good. Good. And that's Mark Webb, the director. Well, it's, it's Garfield as well, because Garfield's performance was oh, yeah, yeah. And, well, and Emma Stone. Emma Stone was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, well, Emma Stone was brilliant today. But, I tell you what, she would, if they did Spider-Gwen, the movie... She would be Spider-Gwen. I, I, I would... I, I, they, they could have my money. I, I'd, I'd go and see Emma Stone and Spider-Gwen. But, I just... If they rebooted... They're going to be rebooting it. What do you think? Do you think they reboot should reboot it? It's not old Spider-Man. Don't do the origin. Do you, no, yeah, they're reboot do it as Miles Morales. Yeah, do you think that they do, Miles Morales? They won't, but they should. They, should. they won't, but they should. I, I heard the most worrying piece, the, what? the most worrying thing possible, and there is a slight rumour cap that there is one African-American teenager who is out there who has some very rich and powerful parents who is oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. What? fiddling around with yeah. trying to get into it, and he is... Please don't say, don't say that Will Smith kid. Jaden Smith? 
Please, you know, there no, is, no, no, there please, is, please, please don't. There is no. There is no speculation. Do you want to see the proper arguments here? They was the only good thing in um, the suit of happiness. Suit of happiness? Yeah, of course it was. Right, so I'll give you a slide and I'll roll it. We were on the ten. We were on the ten. Playing with his dad. So, so I mean, yeah. you know, this is not his. Yeah, that's not in the room as well. Yeah, uh, but in uh, the picture. around. Well, well, see, Will Smith has actually been uh, quoted saying, like, um, press that again. Uh, Will Smith has been quoted as saying that, like, he feels bad about that Earth. He should. Um, yeah, which he should. But he's also, well, like, like but he's also probably hoping that because he, being a team player, has been shot in Suicide Squad, yeah. and because uh, Jada is doing a good job on Gotham, a little bit over the top, but a good job yeah. on Gotham, that I, they'll have I, the power I, I to let Jaden um, get I, in the door. I don't think the Smith family having the power to, to yeah, get in the well. door is anything to do with him playing Deadshot or her playing Go in Gotham. I think it's more to do with being a high rank Scientologist. Mm. Okay. I think that's where the power comes from. Alright, well, we can't talk about Scientology on the show. Yeah, we can. Yeah, it's a major yeah. religion. Tom Cruise will yeah. come to your house and let you down. Tom, Tom Cruise, <laughs> also Will Smith, formed a major religion from a science fiction writer. <laughs> it's like anybody who believes in, the, in this Illuminati. I don't want to do it. I see. Right. The right. stuff that's the Illuminati. The stuff that's the Illuminati. I'm doing this now. I'm doing this on interrupters. The Illuminati comes from a series of science fiction novels published in 1973 by Robert Anton Wilson. They do not rule the world. They are not the secret people behind everything. There are no secret people behind everything. Everything is made up as it goes along. I would Scientology, science I, fiction. I would just like to say how proud right, I am of that quote to go from Spider-Man to Scientology. Quite amazing. Yeah, but I know. Just going back. Let's go back. If they, back. If they did go, if they did do it, the high school student, they want to do the high school Spider-Man. Ah, right. So, yeah. Do they bring? Do they make it Miles Morales? Yes. Yeah. Risk the Jaden Swift thing. Well, you know what? what? Jaden Smith's not the what? only black kid in the in the no, universe. No, but let's let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Jaden Smith probably would get it because of the profile. But who says Jaden Smith's not going to be good at it? Uh, because Cry Kid, he was rubbish in it. I've uh, not seen it. Well, he was still young when he See, I'm, I'm, willing, I'm willing to give the lad a chance because he could just be learning his trade. There's lots of people who've been terrible early on in their careers. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. and there is a hell of a difference between 10 and 18. No, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're, you're right, but it's still. It's, still. It's, it's, it's hard yeah, of your life. Still. I, 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 but he could be, if you're going to do Miles Morales, then, well, if you're going to take a team, popular actor to, you know, play. You've got a name. You can't yeah. do it with complete unknown, unless you find an unknown who's phenomenal. In a Christopher Reeve style, but even then Christopher Reeve wasn't known because he's already done Grey Lady Down. And, and big money won't take the risk. No. They will take the oh, risk. Do you, know who I thought, do you know who might be pretty, have you ever seen, uh, is it Grown Up? Not Grown Ups. Um, um, what is it? Paul Wood, there was a movie Paul Wood did where they got arrested, they had to look after two kids. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. They it. I know what you're talking about. Are you talking about the kid? Are you talking about the kid? The kid, there was the yeah. wealthy kid who was yeah, like the yeah, yeah. Was, what, 10 years old now? So yeah, so yeah. He'd, be, he'd be the right age for it. Yeah, so yeah, and, yeah, he was. Got, he's got the kind of yeah, 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 yeah. like attitude to it, which Miles Morales does. But so, Miles is supposed to be 13. If you're going to a TX5, Miles is supposed to be 18. Well, yeah, he was like 30. Well, I just assume that in America, everybody goes to school until they're 25, because all American TV shows have 25 year old teenagers. Um, and plus the other one that they're talking about is Donald Glover for Miles Morales and Donald <laughs> Glover is far too old for him to even I think so. If, if you're going to do a TV so. Spider-Man, you've got to do Miles Morales. You can't tell Peter Parker to get that. If you're going to do Peter Parker, you've got to do a 20 year old think, I, yeah, I, 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 I think, yeah, yeah, you're totally right. There, nobody wants to see another Spider-Man origin no, movie. No. Nobody wants to Four. see that. You know what I mean? But then, here's the question. What are they going to do when you know that Spider-Man is going to probably show up in a postscript of Avengers Age of Ultron? What are they going to do? Well, no, he, I don't think he is. No, no, but, but remember... Like it, so. Yeah, but remember, though, they, that they now are rechanging the script that Spider-Man appears in Civil War. Well, no, yeah. Yeah, so I, 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 I have yeah but, but so to have him in a postscript... I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Well, that's what I'm saying. I have a feeling with Civil War, they were always... They were really planned. Marvel were kind of like better. They had the script already sorted out for Spider-Man to be in it. I know I think that they would. They would have been a bit. Wait, wait, what would be what? Well, I just like to say. I mean, with them rebranding it and doing the so like teenage people, te um, teenager in the high school. 
With the reason why Spider-Man was so integral to the Civil War storyline, which is why I didn't want him for Captain America Civil War, my name is, is because Spider -Man. my name is Spider-Man since I was 15 years yes, old. exactly. And it's got the whole... That, that, In which uh, case it has to be Peter it Parker. It has to be Peter Parker at 28. It can't be... Yeah. It's, um, there, there's no... Uh, yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Imagine this one. That scene in the Civil War where they, he's on the stage and they get him to unmask, right? Which was a powerful scene in the comics, right? Where he takes it off on Peter Parker. What if he takes it off? I'm Miles Morales and I'm like, <laughs> Why would that give someone a heart attack? What? Why would that give someone a heart attack? No, because he's like, that's a fish. Because like, he's, he's a superhero. He's a superhero. You, you don't see that, it until he takes his mask off. That's what I mean. And he's a superhero that, you, that, you, that Captain America is vouching for. And Iron Man vouched for, and everything else, else like that. And what they're trying to say is anybody could be a hero. So they're trying to say they, is even a young black man could be yeah, a hero. Yeah, but they are never in a million years Honestly. going to be able to hide an additional person on the set of Captain America Civil, Civil War <laughs> and not have them go, that's going to be Peter Parker. There is not a high hope in hell's chance. <laughs> That they'll be able to hide it. How much Star Wars did you be seen? Pardon? How much Star Wars did you be seen? But there's no, people, no, there's been loads of rumors. And JJ J. Abrams has come out and said pretty much half the rumors are out there are true. So there is, you cannot hide. You, cast, you cannot hide something like that. You, you can do that as the last, if that's the last shot that's seen in that film. So it'll yeah. get out. There is not, there, there isn't a way to do that. that. Yeah, but, yeah, but don't you, don't you, wait, 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 wait. Don't you remember last year when, um, when, um, well, not last year, but don't you remember they had the uh, Winnebago on the Avengers set, the original one, when they had the Spider-Man thing on the Winnebago, and everybody was saying Spider-Man was going to be the first Avengers. And, and it wasn't, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, this is that. I know what you're saying. Yeah, but well, casting false it. information is a lot easier than hiding information. Yeah, you'd right. have to do it live for the printer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. yeah, so anyway, right, so just to end this special episode, what I want to do, uh, uh, let Ian talk about is, uh, oh. was, yeah, no, was, no, what I wanted you to talk about was my, uh, the poster I put up, Unite the Seven. Oh. About, about, about the new Jason Momoa Aquaman suit, and, and I like and it. I, I love like it. it. I love I like it. it. And, 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 and it's a name or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 our good friend Murray Jones was trying to say that United Seven is United Seven Seas, which I said right. <laughs> um, it's the Dawn of Justice, and it's from um, Snyder himself, and it's Momoa. You know. Bringing together, you know, oh. the Justice League. Now, Ian publicly stated how upset he was because he expected Ackerman to be blonde and wear an orange T-shirt. Yes. <laughs> I'm <I'm-> being <laughs> marigold. <laughs> that's Ackerman. That's Ackerman. Ackerman should be. It's Ackerman from the sixties. Ackerman, yeah, and Ackerman should be some form of that. In the way that Batman is some form of Batman from the sixties, and Wonder yeah. Woman is some well, form Ackerman of Wonder Woman. Ackerman hasn't wore orange. In ages. No, but he isn't. Well, yeah, but he isn't a guy honest. with Maori tattoos and a beard down there, hair down there, who looks like Poseidon. You're not putting in Aquaman, you're putting in bloody Poseidon. That's what you're putting in. Yeah, you but, don't super, look like but Superman doesn't look like Superman in Snyder's world. Batman, well, he does, but he's still a red and blue. Yeah, he's still in the red and blue. Uh, but the outfit looks like that. You know, that's a black and white. That's a black and white picture. So that, who's to say that that armor is not? No, that, 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 that's that's a flesh tone CPU. That, that's been tinted. Well, yeah, 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 but that's what I'm trying to say. Who's to say it's not orange? <laughs> it's not orange. <laughs> that's, that's the colour, it is black. I, I mean, it'll be at dark. But that is not. Well, so he could be under the ocean and look like a shark. Aquaman should be the noble ruler of the seas. That's I what know he's he not. Because he's Carl Drogo. They cast Carl Drogo <laughs> to play Carl Bloody Drogo. To be fair, he did. They look at Carl. That's Carl. That's Carl Drogo. Let's have him play Carl Drogo in this. That'll be great. We could get Aquaman. Let's do Aquaman. At least Let's you'll be Carl Drogo. At least you'll be able to understand him in this. In yeah, Aquaman. I think I so. doubt it. You didn't well, understand the corner. I'm looking. Look. I'm looking forward to seeing. I think he's going to do quite well. Aquaman probably doesn't speak English. Well, no, but he communicates. He's his name Carl Drogo. His father was American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was conceived it while we were freaking lights out. Is he actually funny in the film though? Or is he gone with a different No, he's Carl Drogo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, my point was. What do you call Drogo? What did I say? Yeah. Is he also funny in the film though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's Carl Drogo. He's going to be Arthur Curry. But do you like the outfit? I like it. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't like Aquaman. I don't think. I, I, you know, he's one of those characters. 
No, he's, he can, t you know, I like the way Robot Chicken takes a piss out of him. You know, I think he deserves to have a piss taken out of him. He talks to tuna. If I talk to my food on a daily basis, <laughs> have you seen I'd the be size of tuna in the wild? Well, no, this guy's got his friends. You know, I, I just, yeah, don't get it. So I'm quite I, eager to see. So I can see why you've gone down really. the route, Dave, to try and make him cool, because potentially he could be a silly character, like, like yeah. you say. I, I think it's, it's a good. I think I think he's making him hardcore, and yeah. I think and I think if we take a uh, page out of the book of Man of Steel, where uh, the Kryptonians were terraforming the seas, mm -hmm. yeah. that is a perfect opportunity for Aquaman to go, oh, dude, something yeah, yeah. yeah, right? And it's like, dude, who are you? <laughs> yeah. be, uh, My kingdom. I could, I, could, I could imagine life in Atlantis being, like more, being more like life <laughs> as a Dothraki than life in King's Landing if you're going to keep using your games to throw yeah. I think it's down in Atlantis. King's it's going Atlantis to quite such. But, yeah, but compared to the fact, but Game of Thrones talking yeah, about right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, but down there it's going to be brutal, it's going to be rough, it's a sort of like re regal society. So yeah, I can see their civilization being more Dothraki than going up more gritty. We've got Wonder Woman which is going to be coming from a warrior but basically, everyone's going to be uh, sort of like guilty of killing people all yeah. the way through that. There's, this is going to be the most guilty Justice League ever. So sort of like yeah. everyone has been so so so, so the question is because you put it out there. The question is, does this make you more excited or less excited for BBB? -B 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 -B? I can't be. I can't get more excited for that. I want. I, 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 I want to see it so bad yes. that if I could travel forward in time. Yeah. Then I, I mean I'm planning my entire schedule for next year based around that date. Mm -hmm. they, you know, it's all everything. Oh, is it next year? Oh. It's next next year. year. It was supposed to be this year, but it's next year. And so you know, I'm I, I am I'm really excited. My whole problem that I've got with Batman vs Superman is this inclusion of Aquaman and Wonder Woman and Cyborg. I and Cyborg into this. I don't think it needs that. Batman vs yeah. Superman is an entire movie just. So just figuring out how, why, as a dynamic, they work. So I think well. you, I think you have to, understand, yeah, but I think you have to understand, like when Mark Ruffalo had a seven-picture deal, and all he did was show up for two minutes at the postscript of uh, Iron Man Three. Three. This is how their appearances will be. They already had their movies lined up, but what they're doing is trying to excite the audience, introduce these characters. It is Batman versus Superman is what this film is. It, it's not doing it justice, which is its own film. They are just no, telling you. No, no, it's, 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 it's called Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. What's the other one called? Justice League. I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, it's, it's it's still only the dawn. My point is, is that these characters are only going to be introduced. They get paid big money to give up their lives for three to five years, and they're only going to be introduced. The picture is going to be bad. I, I'm just, That's all I'm trying I, to say. My big worry about my big worry, and this is right. kind of like with it, is if they do a really cheesy kind of like you know the entire movie is like okay, Batman versus Batman fights Superman, then Superman fights Wonder Woman, then Batman fights Arthur Arthur Curry, and then right at the end of it, just literally at the end of it, they all kind of like shake their hands, and then all of a sudden, Brainiac shit comes out, and then that's you that's exactly what I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Kind of like, I, I, I think, think I, I think I think you just hit the nail on the head. I, I, that would be well. really disappointing. <laughs> I, I would like to see Batman enlist everybody else to bring Superman down. That would and then bring him not be involved in any way. You know, that would be that, really cool. Well, well, that's Tower of Babel. That's Grant Morrison's Tower of Babel. I mean, Batman, I think, will be in the Batcave having a whole bat files of all these different characters. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Tommy like Stark in the Avengers where he's going through the Avengers. Yeah, yeah, but we'll be able to actually see, you know, like, you know, who this person is and who that person is. I mean, Tony Stark was just a whole minority report. But what I mean is, is that I don't think these people are in the movie per se in these long scenes. I just think that they are only going to be in it for, for a second. I think they have to bring together if they're saying unite the seven and they're going yeah. to unite the seven now. I'd like to in the end, I, that's why I think that's why I think what James is saying is, is right. Because be it'll, it'll be like it'll be like it'll be like the star role. It'll be like the star role in, in the in the original Raven of Bow where all of them come together, there's some big threat at the end of the film. This is the, this is the other problem. Look, let's stop fighting. Mind you, let's stop fighting. Yeah, yeah. This, but it's gonna be Avengers. Uh, with uh, yeah. going into the Avengers, you have Black Widow. Black Widow is a prime example of this. Black Widow is in a team where she has a god, right. a god, a massive angry character, the the ultimate human person, mm. and she is just a normal, so like, a normal trained assassin who who fits into that mold. Granted, Hawkeye's no. there, but. She fits into no, that she mold. Canceled it. 
Now, with the Justice League, with the Justice League, you have, you know, you've got the fastest man alive, you've got a god, a, a god from another world, you have a Amazon god, a Greek god, a son, the daughter of a Greek god, yeah. you have uh, a Martian, a massive Martian, you have this world. Well, so, well. yep, no, okay, well, well, you, yeah, know, right, Martian, you have the cybernetic boy who's so, got all these powers, and then you Batman have the Batman, only the only normal person. Now, the way that they've kind of like done it is, you, you put that into that situation, you're permanently going to be looking at it going, why is Batman, you have all these other powers, why is Batman here? And the only re you know, you have to go back to look at like the Grant Morrison Batman in the It, has, it has to be the Tower of yeah, Babylon. And it, it, has to, it has to be the fact that Batman all the time is getting one over on him. That's why a Batman Superman movie would work, because you'd have Batman kind of like training Superman, so like, oh, you can't just fly into this dangerous environment, you have to prepare, you have to look around. To, and, you have to. And with Kryptonite Green, you can't assume yeah. that you're involved. Yeah, and and that's and so when you see Batman <coughs> in the Justice League and you know his history, you completely get it. But it's like my uncle and my dad; they're always like, "How can Batman fight Superman? What is the point?" And it's like because you don't understand. Batman is the ultimate. Pet. He's the ultimate tactician. He's the ultimate tactician, and they're not going to be able to establish that. In Batman. He's just going to be thrown into this team if they're not careful, and you can't. And people are going to be like. Well, they could have solved that without Batman. And if they instantly go to Dark Side or something like that, mm. it, Batman's wasted. Yeah, but no, but see, I'm no, but no, but no, but that, what you just heard about the ultimate tactician is that, like, Superman, which just goes in, I'm invulnerable, I'll just go in and punch it. Yeah. You know, and, and Wonder Woman is that type of character as well. well no, Wonder Woman is a, is a warrior god. Well, yeah, she's so a warrior she, god, she's but she still will go in and punch no, it. No, she's a lot more tactical than Superman. Well, yeah, okay, okay, because she's a warrior. She, 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 she But she'll punch it. My point is, is that Batman will be like, look, there's another way of doing this, right? If you go there and you go there and you go there, then we can tackle yeah. this thing. And, uh, but you don't have to punch it. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to say. In the Justice League, that's great. But in this, in this Batman Superman, I don't think they're giving it enough room for. I'm really worried about it. Well, we that's don't know. Thing, no, no, we don't know. We don't know. We don't, we don't know the script and everything like that. It's not leaked and stuff. But I understand your worries. I still think that they're going to. All these other characters are just a small role, and they still will be paid just as much as Ruffalo, and it's just to introduce their own separate films. It's kind of like what um, um what's his, what the guys um, the Darth Rocky guy said, right? <laughs> I forgot his name, but thank you. What he said was is the fact that that like, oh no, he didn't say it, but what he said was is that he's introduced in this film, but then they'll have his own film that they're already written and yeah. going to work on that will do his whole story. Right. This is not his origin, you know, and everything. This is just like, hey, dude, you, you tore up my city. And I'm letting you know, me and my people ain't happy about it, you know what I mean? And he could actually be a bit bad, you know, we, we only because we got casted of Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor doesn't have to be the big bad, no, you I know what I mean? And so imagine that. Imagine that that's what they end up fighting in the Atlanteans. Cause you, you cause yeah. it makes so much sense as a sequel to Man of Steel that you tore up our ocean without knowing that we were down there. I tell you what would be really, uh, this is the most unlikely scenario ever. But you mentioned in uh, the Flash mm -hmm. that the Flashpoint aspect about yeah. it, and it's a year away. There's another series of Flash that they could do about it. Mm -hmm. Could you, you know? It, they could do kind of like a flashpoint. You've got Wonder Woman, you've got Aquaman, you've got Batman, you've got Superman, kind mm -hmm. of like thing. It, you know, they could do a flashpoint moment in uh, the Flash and have the repercussions being displayed in Superman in the Batman versus Superman. You have the Atlanteans fighting with Wonder Woman, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and coming into it, and then the Flash getting introduced there, and that and kind of like that could slightly tie in. Are they both Warner Brothers then? Well, uh, yeah. uh, both properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that is that. that I mean, that I mean, it would be a really interesting. Well, you no, know, what's really interesting about that is because I know we got to end this now. But what's really oh, interesting no, about sorry. that? Okay, what's really interesting about it is that even though they introduced uh, this Ezra guy to be the new Flash and everything, they didn't introduce him saying that he's going to be a BBF. They didn't even say he's going to be Barry Allen. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. They, so they didn't say that Flash is a BBS. So my point would be is, is the fact that, that they could be, because Flash is already the most popular show on television. Yeah. Right? And you're right. It's still another season that will be on. So they could actually change their minds. You know what I mean? About, and they know, could Flash make him Molly. Mm -hmm. And they could make him Molly. So go ahead. Is it, it the small person in a team? Mm -hmm. 
as we were talking Dark Knight, we were talking Batman and Justice League. I, I'm only one bring this in so we can have this argument in public now. <laughs> Is this, this Spider Man? Man this, no, this, oh, is this Christ. the Spider Man Infinity War yes. theory that you have stated yes. before? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, but mainly on the internet where we only but, are. No, no, we, no, we've talked ahead, about, ahead, we've ahead, about it. We have talked oh, about it. As I can remember being on Would you like me to elaborate? Well, well, okay. No, you've already done it. No, 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 elaborate no, for a second because Ian wants to argue with you. Well, I know if I've already had the argument, there's no point. No, you weren't here to have the argument, though. Wasn't I? I don't think so. Well, I mean, if you can't remember, I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I have the last argument set on me. All right, whatever. You were saying something about Infinity. What was it? I think Spider Man is the only person who can beat whatever the threat is at the end. That is what the whole Odyssey is, is about. It's a, see, because like, the Thor is Thor through birthright, and um, you know, I manage finance and various different things. Spider-Man is the only one who didn't choose it, and he's the only one who's on a... Well, no, he's not Chris Banner never chose to be in Hulk. Didn't he? No. Did he not? No. So he, he, he did not know that. When he, when he went back to get with Jones from that gamble, he didn't know what was going to happen. Well, he didn't know. Even though he's the world's greatest nuclear physicist, he didn't know that. No, it wasn't a Hulk talk to him. No, he didn't. Well, Peter David thinks it was. Peter David says that the Hulk was, was constantly in there and he was trying to find a way out. That is why he threw himself under the Well, but even, I mean, in, in the movie, basis about it, he didn't, he, the, whatever his origin that they decided to go for in the, in the movies, you know, if it's the Ang Lee one, which he kind of like, they mentioned in passing on the end of yeah. where he's doing the brain scan. That was never, you know, uh, turning into Hulk was probably the most unlikely at idea. I don't think Bruce Banner kind of went into it going, I'm going to turn into a bike giant. Getting monster. blown up and being dead seen. Yeah, likely. yeah. I just don't understand what this had to do with the Infinity God. Well, no, well, I, I think is Spider Man is the only one who is the unfitchable who can beat the threat. Because he's a the every man. Yeah. Uh, a mad guy. Yes, yes. I think so. This is where he's normal person. I can tell if he's normal person. He oh, can't okay. break down the gods. But that is, it's humanity is what will we'll win. But because you, Thanos doesn't understand humanity and he doesn't understand... You, had to, you, you think he's like really? Rocky. That he could just keep getting, exactly, yeah. getting up or something. Exactly. Like I think that, that, that is going to be... That is, is Spider-Man through through. He is that character. Yeah. He'll, he'll get points in a song. He will always and keep never pushing through. Mm -hmm. I think you're... I think you... <laughs> I think you're in a different thing. No, 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 I don't think. I, I think, think, I think, it's, I think it's a stretch. I think it's a, there, is, a stretch. there is no way that Spider Man on his own in any way, shape, or form could beat Thanos. Thanos is going to be the reason for the Infinity War. Mm -hmm. So, like, what I, I mean, if Spider Man's role is going to be in that, uh, even if Spider Man was the Captain America, it would be Captain America. And that is so, like, he keeps getting blasted and he keeps going up because, you know what, Thanos, you could keep kind of like doing. <laughs> And because and just keep getting up, and so I like, think would just keep getting up, and that would thrust everyone. I, I doubt that. All of a sudden, the hammer. You know, I see, I see, I see. Thanos clip his fingers and, and then just, just, and just and the Hulk crumpled to dust or something like that in, yeah. in, in, in the Infinity Gauntlet. What, what you need when you're Infinity War is something like Adam Warlock, you need something that was in the Well, well we were going to see the cocoon of Adam Warlock. But, and, um, I mean, going um, Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy, you have uh, Star-Lord who is able to pick up the Infinity Gem and hold off from being destroyed for that period of time. I still he, don't know who his father is. And he well, also, well, 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 oh, well, he never chose Star-Lord, because that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I mean, like... Because Star Wars going to be Howard the Duck who wins at the end. I don't. Of the I, don't, I, don't no, I, I don't. I think it would be. It would just <laughs> no, be a great really. team. A great team, like in uh, like in the Avengers, was everyone kind of like had their own little pick at, the, at Loki in certain ways throughout the entire thing. Hulk had his moment. Black Widow had his moment. <laughs> Tony had his moment. Uh, you know, so they all had those yeah. kind of like little aspects <laughs> about it. So I think that's how they're going to work the, the whole Thanos stuff into it. But I, I, I one thing I'd love to, I would love to see, and I'm so glad is Star Lord, the Star Lord that is in it meeting Peter Parker. Oh, and if they good. do that really well, that would be a really great kind of like. Do you story. think that Star Hawk is going to be Star Lord? Star, Star Hawk from Guardian and the original. Star no, King, no, King Game, King Jason of the East. Well, no, I know King Jason thing. is his father, yeah. but I, I, I just heard rumor yesterday you, that Star Hawk. I think people Star Hawk and you can't believe it. They, no, I, I've heard. The thing that I've heard is it's actually going to be an eternal. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, but the audience is not going to know who the eternals are. No. Well, they do. You know, like Ike Harris and all if, that. If you listened, that when they it's go it's in. It's the head of an eternal. When you, yeah, yeah. When it, it's the head of an eternal when they go into to meet the collector. So I think that it's going to be like that, and Starlo is going to be able to come down and give him the ability, just like Thor gave him the ability to hold the Terrasat, he's going to bring down the ability to kind of like get 
get it in there, and that's how it's going to tie in. I can't wait for their Loki versus Doctor Strange. You know, where Hiddleston with their Ben the Cumberbatch. You know what? I keep forgetting about Cumberbatch. He's yeah. going to be he's going to be in uh, Infinity Gauntlet. So yeah, yeah well, so yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. They, they also said the the defenders are going to be in it too. Yeah, they? no, yeah. and that at the Infinity the Infinity Gauntlet sit there. It needs all those characters. Only problem is that I love Reed Davis' comments, right? You know, I mean these big crossovers. And I know we all, people are saying they want the big, massive crossover, and Infinity Gauntlet needs it. But I don't know how it's going to look on screen. It's two films, though, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. I know, but I'm talking about these massive characters. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about I'm, the you Guardians, the, the Defenders, the Thors. I'll tell, I'll tell you, if they were really, you've got, the Infinity Gauntlet, you've got Infinity Wars Part 1, and then you've got a year, two year gap between Infinity yeah, no, Part I, 1 and no, Part I'm 2. Just saying, so what, all what, on what, screen at once. What would be really spectacular is in the first part you have the original Avengers going up against Thanos and him doing something to them that knocks him over. In between those two years, I can't remember which films come out between those two years, but then we'll be building a new Avengers. We'll a new Avengers. So in the second one, and that'll have Doctor Strange in it, and in the second one, Doctor Strange somehow finds a Paul in it. And just imagine how the goosebumps would come up if half an hour left of the final move of the Infinity Gauntlet, they get in their asses whooped. And all of a sudden the bright light comes out and the shield just comes pummeling in and just knocks down. No, not the shield. A hammer? I mean, no. A hammer. Just like, like, like with Camp Nefari well, and yeah, with, yeah. with Thor's shield. Because when you talk about the original Avengers, remember, the Avengers at the end of Age of Ultron, they all split off. Mm. So they split off and the new Avengers that Captain America puts together for Civil so, War, right? right? The There's going to be a new Avengers, Avengers team, team, which will be probably <laughs> like, you know, quick silver, you know. Quick silver, skull, which will. So, skull, which so when, Aven when Avengers Infinity War comes, those will be the new Avengers, not the original. I think, I think with the, the, th the height of the, 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 the height of the, the, the height of the threat of uh, the tess Tesseract and the Infinity thing will bring the original Hulk and everyone back together. Oh yeah. But I, and I think that, that would work so well, I don't think they'd do it. But, well, you can do it, because basically what, what just the structure you're talking about is in terms of taking the size of a battle and making it absolutely legible on the screen. It's Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So you you're basically, you're basically looking at Lord of the Rings, you're making two, three hour films. But the humans as well, like, well that's come out. Oh, yeah, 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 but they come in between uh, the, event, the two Avengers movies, don't but they? But I think uh, that is a great time for them. The world's in complete disarray, the Avengers have been killed, no one knows where they're going. Yeah. But there's some, there's some range of heroes come out of nowhere, which are the Inhumans, Kree warriors coming up. Fighting it, it fits right into it. They could take over a slight little role. Well, also too, is remember the humans are going to be on uh, this second Mom second half of, of uh, Agents of Shield. Shield. So, I mean, we will know of the Inhumans and everything else. So, like actually, going to so. be the Inhumans though. It's the uh, it is the the Kree. The Kree. Yeah, it is, yeah. It, it's not going to be the main Inhumans. The royal family of the Inhumans. That will be yeah. what, that will be saved for the that, movie. Yeah, yeah. as yeah. long as it's the right. <laughs>